It was a feat in organ building during the 19th century, and even after two centuries, still renders us in utter astonishment. Here are eight facts you need to know about the world-famous bamboo organ of Las Piñas. The organ was built by Father Diego Sierra, a Spanish Augustinian Recoleto who left his homeland in 1790 and arrived in Manila in 1792. As the first priest to be assigned in the newly independent parish of Las Piñas, he steered the building of a church from a humble chapel made of nipa and bamboo where masses are celebrated to a fortified stone structure that was also used by the townspeople as a refuge during calamities and pirate invasions. He was both an organist and an organ builder who also constructed the organs of the Manila Cathedral, San Nicolas Convent in Intramuros, and possibly the historical organ of Baclayon in Bohol, where he was appointed prior vocal in 1815 and 1821. His decision to use bamboo as the primary material for the organ may have been due to its abundance in the country, or he just wanted to provide a parish with an instrument that is out of the ordinary. The bamboo organ can be found in the parish church of St. Joseph in Las Piñas. Before the organ was built, the bamboo tubes has to be treated first to prevent microorganisms and insects from eating the material up and ensure its resilience to the humid climate of the Philippines. Chemical treatments, however, were not available back in the 19th century as they are now. Diego Serra, therefore, used an unconventional way of treating the bamboos. He buried the tubes under the sands of the shores of Las Piñas, using its saltiness to dehydrate the material. He kept them under this condition from 1816 to 1817, a full year to ensure that traces of starch had been removed, and dug them out just before he started constructing the instrument. His technique proved to be effective, made evident by the pipe's 200-year existence, and was not replicated for years after its construction. The bamboo organ was already functional by 1821, but was likely completed in 1824 with the addition of the trumpet stops. The organ comprises a total of 1,031 pipes, of which 902 is bamboo and 129 metal. These metal pipes can be seen horizontally attached above the organ's console, while some are used for the paritos feature or the bird sound, an optional ornament when playing. For the bamboo pipes, not all 902 are sounding or speaking pipes. 155 of these are mute or blind pipes, whose purpose is only decorative and are placed in front and at the back of the organ. Only a few speaking pipes are seen from the outside. Most of them are located inside the organ's case. Interestingly, Hans Gerd Kleis of the Kleis Organ Factory in Bonn, Germany, where the organ was brought during its restoration in the 1970s, thought that the decorative blind pipes were initially intended by Diego Serra to be used as horizontal trumpet pipes because of their reeds. The result must have been undesirable, which made him repurpose the pipes for aesthetics, hence the use of the metal trumpet pipes. But despite that, the mute pipes contributed greatly by giving the organ an imposing grandeur fit for the king of instruments. The organ is an aerophone, therefore uses vibrating columns of air to produce sound. Its wind pressure is produced and supplied by its bellows. Bellows are an instrument with flexible wedges to create an air chamber. It compresses and decompresses to provide a steady flow of wind to the organ, just like how wind supply is produced by an accordion. Back in Diego Serra's time, the bellows were operated manually by individuals taking their turns while the organ is being played. It was only in 1932 that an electric motor was installed to pump wind into the bellows for a more consistent flow and eliminate the possibility of human error. The bamboo organ is a mechanical type using tracker action, allowing compressed air to escape through an open valve when a key on the manual is pressed. Although constructed towards the end of the European classical era, the bamboo organ is built in the Spanish Baroque style. This is characterized by the horizontal trumpets and the decorative pipes that were previously mentioned. It has one manual with 61 keys spanning 5 octaves from contra F to F3, 23 stops or draw knobs that are pulled for the desired instrument sound, 
and 12 stub pedals from Contra F to Great E that are merely for sustaining purposes. Another feature of this Spanish Baroque style is seen in the separation of registers in the manual between middle C and C sharp, where keys Contra F to middle C are assigned 11 stops located on the left side of the console and 12 stops from C sharp 1 to F3 on the right side. The bamboo organ is not impervious to damage and destruction. For two centuries, the instrument fell victim to natural and human-induced disasters. The major ones were the earthquake which happened during Jagasera's lifetime, the 1863 Manila earthquake which is considered to be one of the strongest to have ever hit the country, the earthquake of 1880 caused by the eruption of the Taal volcano leaving the church in ruins and consequently the bamboo organ, the typhoon of 1882 which left the organ in a drenched and dismantled state, the decades of non-operation due to the revolution against Spain and America, and the annihilation brought about by the Second World War. Repairs and reconstructions were performed after each disaster with the help of some key individuals and the townspeople of Las Piñas to keep the organ in a functional state. But it was only in the 1970s that a major restoration was undertaken. A decade earlier, pre-restoration projects were attempted, yet resistance from some groups over the safety of handling the instrument to and from Germany prevented the effort from being carried out. In 1973, the instrument was finally flown and shipped for restoration to Japan and Germany respectively. The organ was found to be in a state of deterioration that some components had to be overhauled while some were replaced completely. 86 pipes had to be replicated due to disrepair and coats of paint had to be scraped off to reveal the wood's natural color. Indeed, the restoration effort was all the instrument needed during this time because a few more years of delay and neglect would have rendered the instrument beyond hope. In 1975, before shipment back to the Philippines, the newly restored bamboo organ was again heard as how it would have sounded back in 1824 through a short concert in Germany organized by the restorer Kleis Organ Factory and the Philippine Embassy featuring organist Wolfgang Eames. It was reinstalled in the newly restored Church of St. Joseph and was reintroduced to the townspeople of Las Piñas through an inaugural concert on May 9 of the same year. To protect the instrument and get the necessary attention it deserves, the National Museum of the Philippines declared the bamboo organ of Las Piñas a national cultural treasure in 2003. With this declaration, the instrument is guaranteed government funding and protection so it can be enjoyed not only by the people of Las Piñas but by the entire country and enthusiasts around the world. To help preserve the bamboo organ and create public awareness of its value, the Bamboo Organ Foundation, a non-stock, non-profit organization involved in community enrichment and development, was created in 1978. It is also charged with organizing the annual Bamboo Organ Festival, a week-long musical celebration usually held in February featuring local and international musicians while showcasing the bamboo organ heritage. It is also an opportunity for the foundation to seek support for its endeavors in preserving and promoting the instrument. Through the foundation, another entity was founded by two of its bamboo benefactors, the Diego Serra Organ Builders. Diego Serra Organ Builders is an all-Filipino organ building company behind some of the finest new organs in the Philippines and overseas, whose corporate social responsibility is to ensure that the bamboo organ receives the care it requires. Together with the foundation and the St. Joseph Parish in Las Piñas, the bamboo organ is assured to survive in tip-top shape for years to come. Support the Bamboo Organ Foundation by becoming a sponsor or going to one of the festival concerts. See the links in the description to learn more. There are more interesting facts about the Bamboo Organ's history, but these will work for now. What are your thoughts about this heritage instrument? Make sure you write them in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see similar content, subscribe to VidsMusic.